Firstly, and the one most people think about when they think of the future work, is technology and the unprecedented pace of technological advancement. The reality is that technology learns faster than we do, and the best organisations understand and leverage this. Technology has changed our personal lives faster than the business world, which has led to higher expectations from our talent and customers on how organisations deliver the customer and employee experience. While this brings pressure to organisations to digitise, it also creates an avenue to support this as people can quickly adapt to new technology as organisations bring it in. Technology is everywhere. Success is not just about leveraging technology, it's about enabling a whole different way of working. The second reality is that the new workforce is highly diverse. A recent Human Capital Trends survey suggested that 70% of leaders believe they need a new mix of talent and skills, with many of these skills unknown at this point in time. Leading organisations now see diversity and inclusion as an essential part of the talent life cycle and have detailed strategies to embrace and promote all aspects of diversity. Millennials now make up 50% of the workforce and by 2030 this will increase to 75%. The shift is transforming the nature of work itself. Millennials view careers differently. They are happy to switch and try new things. They have an appetite for change which has been tempered slightly by recent turbulent events. There has been an explosion in contingent workers, contractors, freelance, crowdsourcing. There is an expectation that 40% of the US workforce by 2020 will be contingent workforce, and potentially even higher in other countries, particularly in Asia Pac. As a result, organisations need to look at their talent mix and not only ensure a diverse talent pool along the diversity measures such as ethnicity, gender, etc., but also along the continuum of full time permanent employees through to the contingent workforce, such as crowdsourcing, contracting, alliances, etc. The third reality is that people now work to learn, not learn to work. The 100 year lifespan means a career of 50, 60, even 70 years and will consist of multiple careers. On top of this, the average life of learned business competency has dropped from 30 years in 1994 to 5 years in 2014, and this is still dropping. As a result, careers will be built around learning and not skills, and organisations need to ensure they provide employees with the support to do this.